Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Eastern and uh, we're here over at Tyne Dock and the reason why we're here is to look at this garage because I have a story regarding this garage um, when I built this garage a couple of years ago um, well before I actually built this garage a couple of years ago I was given a business card and that name was on the business card it was Ray Chandler's station garage and um, quite recently I had my MOT done at that garage and uh, once uh, the bill was paid and everything um, I handed Ray a photograph of this model and he was chuffed to bits and um, yeah that really made his day and uh, he's gonna hang it on his garage wall um, after he's framed it but yeah so I just thought I'd tell you this little story because uh, it's not just you guys out there who are gaining um, from watching the videos I just thought I'd make Ray's day by giving him a photograph and uh, it did, he was quite uh, over the moon with it well at long last all the tie-ins are soldered so the next thing to do is to um, check to make sure I have soldered each and every one of these joints and also solder around the back face of these joints here which I shall do on the bench but uh, so now we just have a massive clean up to do around the station and to make sure I have not dropped any solder anywhere on the track work so uh, that's the next job check the joints give it a good clean because um, still a lot of greasy flux left on it so that's going to take a while to clean off and then um, work out what I'm going to do next um, I think the next thing to do is to paint this steel work um, after it's been cleaned and then we can glue these ends on um, and we can start cladding it um, so yeah so check clean up and then um, paint before we add the cladding the roof has now been cleaned and degreased so all the, the flux and remnants of solder have been removed and uh, it's just uh, re waiting for painting actually and um, because it's such a big um, structure I'm gonna have to spray it outside so when I get a half decent day I'll be able to spray this outside but in the meantime I have a small project I can do while I'm um, waiting. So the small project I've got in mind um, is this Pelican Crossing um, GM380 from Gage Master. Now in the box you get a battery pack so if you want you can run the uh, Pelican Crossing off the battery pack or you can use the resistors um, which I've already soldered to the cables um, this is the resistors come in the kit as well and you also get a little bit of crossing as well now I've uh, measured it and I think I might be able to get two roads out of one strip so we'll just have to say it's a question of where I'm going to put them uh, I think I want to put one here 
next to the bus stop so if I just swing the camera down a little bit you can see uh, the bus stop there this is uh, there you go and it's at the uh, top end of Station Road and if I cut that little bit off of there gives me that which might go beside Mrs T's sweet shop so we'll, we'll have a look so the next thing I want to do is obviously I've got to make sure there's no lumps and bumps in the road so I'll get some very very ultra fine um, sandpaper and just rub any little bits of bumps flat before we start um, putting the crossing down so before we start I've just measured the width of the Pelican Cross and it works out at 31 millimeters. So I've drawn a line here and I've measured 31 millimeters across and then drawn another line. So any debris or anything that needs rubbing away to make sure I've got a nice flat Pelican Cross and it needs to be just lightly sanded. So I've got a bit of uh, 400 grit here, it's quite fine. I'm just going to wipe away or rub away any of the bumps and there is quite a few bumps there you can see them so I'll flatten that off try and keep it inside the line and obviously it's got to be dust free afterwards Otherwise your transfer is not going to stick. Alright, so that's reasonably flat now. A little bit of a there, right. So now I shall just clean that up, then we can put the zebra crossing down. Right, I have now cleaned up this area just by using uh, a damp tissue just to make sure I've got all the dust off. So I'm just putting back the pencil lines now because they have slightly worn away. And that shows me clearly where crossings going. Right, now then, we have the crossings been trimmed to size, but uh, I'm not going to rely on the, the glue because it doesn't feel all that sticky to me. It probably would do, but uh, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, super glue gel on there. I have spread a little bit of super glue um, just in between the lines there. I'm just letting it dry out a little bit before I place the pelican crossing down. And as you can see I'm placing a tip down first and I'm just going to roll it with my finger towards me like so. What is that? Right, we shall let that dry and then just in case of weathering it. Right, we're almost there. Um, I've pre-drilled the holes three millimeters diameter and I'm just feeding the last of the beacons in. Um, these cables are very very delicate where I've uh, soldered them on. It's 
So I'm basically just feed them through till we get to the last bit. Now the resistor's wider than the, the non-resisting cable, so we'll pull that one through first. That leaves plenty of room. the other one. Right. That's that one. Another red one. falling down to there. So what I'll do is I'll support the cable underneath, pull that back out, put a little bit of Yoohoo glue in there and then we can cement that in. So the cable supported underneath now so I'm just grabbing a little bit of that Yoohoo glue just to pop into that hole. Same height as the one across the road. Right, so the next thing to do is to wire them up. Right, so that's that little job done. So it's connected to the 12 volt supply um, on this baseboard, which controls the lampposts and the station lights basically all the lights on this baseboard and I've just tied it in uh, so the next thing to do is uh, this pedestrian crossing looks too clean too new so what I'm going to do I'm just going to use a little bit of weathering powder black I think just to smear it up that's better there you go and it just looks like it wasn't put down yesterday. That's a lot better. And that completes the zebra crossing. As you can see, the uh, bus driver has stopped to let the lady across. Well, she says in a bit of a hurry to catch this bus. Just in case you're wondering what happened to the other piece of the zebra crossing, well, it's gone in here. Obviously there's no beacons here, but uh, that'll do nicely. And that completes this little job. Uh, it didn't take us long. Probably about an hour or so, I think. Not much longer than that. And, uh, yeah. I'm quite pleased with the way that that's turned out. There's something wrong with this. Um, this type of crossing did not come into effect until 1969. Um, however, the beacons were out um, from 1934 onwards. And as you know, my layout's based around about the 1950s, 1960s, early 1960s. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and start again. But I'm not going to go through the video uh, bit by bit. I'm just going to do it and explain afterwards what I have done. So I'm sorry, Mrs. Um, 
I'm just going to have to put me down, young man. Put me down. Or tell a policeman. All right, all right. Hey, I'll put you down. Right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lift this up and then start again. And this is what it should look like. Little tiny studs instead of a pelican crossing. Now then, you're probably wondering how I did this. Well, basically, I used the original pencil line that was there, got the bridle, and then pushed it into the MDF uh, five millimeters apart. And now I'm just touching in with a little bit of silver paint on the tip of a toothpick and then just filling in the holes and that looks like we have studs on the road now it don't matter if you fill up the holes completely because it gives an illusion that the studs in the ground rather than um, filling the holes up all together and this is how they were from the 1930s onwards until 1969 so I've rectified the mistake and I've ripped up the pelican crossing at the other end and at some point if I get some more of these flashing beacons I shall do the same at the other end so ideally the zebra crossing is okay from late very late 60s and onwards well to the present day I'm glad I changed it it would have been um, bugging me I think but uh, yeah so now you've had both versions of the pedestrian crossing and um, as for the roof well I've managed to get one coat of grey paint on the roof and uh, the weather has turned bad yet again um, so we may have to wait a little bit longer to see um, that roof back on uh, the station building and it does look empty without it so on that note I think that's all from me um, for this week um, and I uh, hope to see you again soon so until next time stay safe everybody and enjoy your model railways bye for now bye